Hello, my name is Paula and I'm the curator of archaeology at the Hull and East Riding Museum on the High Street in Hull. The object I've chosen is a medieval leather shoe excavated from a waterlogged pit on the north side of Scale Lane in Hull's Old Town. It dates to around 1370 and is a man's shoe for the right foot. It's made from thin soft leather with a single piece sole and a two piece upper which is cut low at the sides to fit under the ankle bone. But the standout feature is the pike or poulane, the extended point sticking out at the toe. This would have been stuffed with moss to keep it rigid. Pointy shoes were the height of fashion in the late 14th century and our shoe clearly belonged to a wealthy chap since it would have been far too impractical for most people. Fine for sauntering to the quayside to supervise your latest shipload of lucrative cargo, not quite so good for shifting barrels of salted fish around the place. The fashion was very controversial. The church were particularly outraged, referring to points as Satan's claws and complaining that men were unable to kneel in prayer because their toes were too long. Points over two inches were banned altogether in 1465, but they needn't have worried. Fashions by then had changed and the new style was for a more practical square toed shape. Less fun, definitely, but less tripping over your own feet. Shoes were wonderfully personal survivals and give us a real insight into the lives of people of medieval Hull. Some are simple and look really comfortable, but others, like this one, tell us more. That even in the medieval period, some people could afford to splash out on fashion statements. No matter how difficult, they must have been to actually walk in.